Now that we've installed and configured the CLI, let's create a new React application and then initialize a new Amplify project within the React application. To do so, we'll use Create React App to create a new React application called My Amplify App. Once the new React application has been created, let's change into the new directory. From within the new directory, we'll run Amplify init to initialize a new Amplify project. We'll then be prompted for a few options. For the default editor, I'll choose Visual Studio Code. For the type of app we're building, we can choose JavaScript. For the framework we're using, we can choose React. The source directory can be left as source. The distribution directory, build. The build command can be left as build. And the start command can be left as start. Next, we're given the option to choose an AWS profile. Here, we can choose the profile that we created when we configured the CLI. Now our Amplify project has been initialized. We should now see a .amplifyrc file as well as an Amplify folder in our root directory. The last thing we need to do is install the AWS Amplify and AWS Amplify React client libraries into our React application. To do so, we can either use npm or yarn to add AWS Amplify and AWS Amplify React. Now the React app has been configured and the Amplify project has been created and we're ready to begin adding new features.